We're going to look at the Arrhenius equation and uh, how it affects reaction rate or, or how we can use it to examine reaction rates and a find out a couple of things. So uh, this is the Arrhenius equation right here. Uh, K equals AE uh, to raise to the negative EA over RT. So let's define these things first. And so K, uh, that is your rate constant. A is the pre-exponential factor, or it can also be called the frequency factor, and you don't really need to know what A is or how to figure it out, but it relates to the collision geometry and how, um, how many of the collisions, what percentage of the collisions that would occur could occur in the proper collision geometry for the reaction to occur. All right, E is the mathematical constant E. Uh, R is the gas constant, you know the gas constant. T is Kelvin temperature. And EA, that is the activation energy. Okay, and so um, you don't have to know this, you don't have to memorize this equation, it's given to you in the data booklet, uh, but you need to kind of know what the parts are. So K again, rate constant, A pre-exponential factor or frequency factor. R is gas constant, T is Kelvin temperature, E sub A is the activation energy, and that E right here is the mathematical constant E. Uh, uh, this is another form of the equation right here, uh, where you take the natural logarithm of both sides, so natural log, and you end up, when you take the natural logarithm of both sides, you end up with the natural log of K equals negative EA over RT, plus the natural log of A, okay, and that's going to be important here in a little bit, the uh, natural log uh, form of the equation. Okay, so looking at this equation, um, a couple of things that we want to look at are just uh, how temperature and how activation energy affect the rate constant. So in this equation, if you increase the temperature of the, uh, of the reaction, then that is going to increase uh, the value of the right side of the equation, which increases K. And so as temp increases, and we're not going to do the mathematics behind this. We don't need to do the mathematics behind it. Um, but just recognizing its location in the equation. So as temp increases, K increases. And then also the, the activation energy here, if you take the activation energy and increase or decrease it, and we know that by adding a catalyst will decrease the activation energy, well, that is also going to, have the rate constant increase. So lowering the activation energy increases K. Okay, And so that is one thing that you need to just know at a, at a qualitative level. So as temperature increases, the rate constant increases. Lowering activation energy, the rate uh, constant increases as well. which will increase the rate of the reaction. Um, from a, uh, so from a generic point of view, uh, the trick question that could be asked of you is what affects K? What affects the rate constant K? So you're given some equation, rate equals K, you know, A to B to the second, and they're telling you, uh, how do you affect K? What affects K? Well, there's only one answer. K is affected by temperature. You're not going to be asked about the catalyst aspect of it. Uh, the thing that affects K is temperature, although we can change it with catalyst as well, but you're not asked about that. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the second form of the equation because you are expected to do some work with the second form of the equation. Uh, the reason to rearrange this equation into the second form is because it puts it into the format um, of y equals mx plus b, uh, where the natural log of k is y. Uh, what we're going to take here is we're going to take this portion and we're going to make that m, which would leave x as uh, 1 over t, the inverse of t, and then b is natural log of a. And then that, that can be graphed. And so if you graph 
where x is the inverse of t, 1 over t, and y is the natural logarithm of the rate constant, okay? And you plot that, and you, and you do experiments where you, where you do various temperatures and determine k. Uh, you're going to get a graph that is somewhat of a straight line with a decreasing slope. And then the important thing to remember here is that m is the slope of the line. Okay, m is this slope. And the, we have determined slope to be equal to negative ea over r. And so if you can graph the natural log of k versus the inverse of t on a graph and determine the slope of that line, then what you can do, what you can solve for, is you can solve for the activation energy of the equation, of the reaction. You can actually determine what is the activation energy of this chemical reaction uh, using the Arrhenius equation. So it's a, uh, a fairly uh, elegant method of solving for activation energy. Uh, find the slope of the line of the, in, of the natural log of K versus the inverse of temperature, and you can plug in R. You know what R is. R is the gas constant. You're going to plug in a numerical value for slope, and you're simply going to solve for Ea. Very simple little solution. And so the Arrhenius equation, okay, two forms. Both of these forms are in the data booklet. You do not need to memorize these two uh, reactions. They're in the data booklet. They're in table one of the data booklet. So they're there for you to find. You just need to know how to use them, what they look for, and you're probably going to be using this equation because you may be given a graph to solve for the activation energy of the equation. Okay? And that's it.